Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course under Python programming language and the Django framework. A very warm welcome from me. In the previous session, we made up our site up to this point. We made a simple setting section in the admin. We set the name of the site, the page address that we are at, the about text, and we set up a phone number and the special links and the about and home page links are set as well so we could enter the about page or get back to the home page using those addresses and as you see the rest of the job what we are going to do in this session is to use one of these sections either this one or this one which shows the news through a link or this one now uh, we make a news app to add the news there so that we can see the news there to do so the first thing I need to do would be to let's say to go and set up the images of these two boxes and see how they are that is check out their placement setting and style and then we are going to choose one of these box groups or groups of text boxes all right i copy this image it doesn't really matter which image i choose we are going to change these images nevertheless and what matters is the image we said as we publish the news at that time okay let's see copy this one i choose the same image for all of the codes all right let's refresh the page okay all right we forgot something okay let's please pay attention yeah uh, we forgot the load a static file all right load static file at the beginning of the files that we use the static we use to use this we may have the load a static in our base or master but we also need to add it in the inner side that is we need to add it in all the pages that we make all right well now the problem is to be solved that's how it looks now now I go to the lifestyle and add an image to it and see how it works and how things are okay let's make these changes all right well that's it okay well that's it well done now let's make all the changes let's replace all the images so it's going to take a while but you don't have to worry we're just going to replace all the images and it's going to take a fair amount of seconds but not too much so don't worry at all yeah these are the routine jobs that we do throughout the course and everything needs to be done again and again of course it's a part of your job so you won't be losing on anything doing so great and that's the last one all right now let's see how it looks well we replace the images all right as you see there are entertainment business travel and other sections available for us such as lifestyle and the last or latest articles which have been posted on the page as a test i am going to use this model and let's see for our news if we choose that model so I do away with the rest of the sections and only use this model uh, that are about the latest news and here I use the style and lifestyle and I remove these two boxes so that we can show the news and last news using these formats 
and uh, then uh, what we are going to do is we are going to show the news categories uh, so I pick those two boxes travel business and also pick entertainment as well I pick them up and pick this one and this one all right entertainment business and travel are the boxes that we chose now let's see how our side looks now it looks like this yeah here uh, we would have the categories and here we would have the news the latest news let me correct the names all right uh, okay and this one's name would be let's say news uh, we want to set the news all right so that's how it looks now uh, these are the latest news and we are going to work on this part so that we would have our latest news available to us here then we will complete this part this is the news categories where a few of the categories would be placed uh, so that we can see the latest news all right uh, now the first thing we need to do after we designated those categories for the news section of our site we need to make an app that is we need to make an app called the news where I add the latest news there so that the viewers can see them as we did for main we are going to take the same steps we write Python as a first step manage dot file start app and app news all right our app has been made now now uh, let's see before making the database let me close these extra pages I need to do the settings first I go to the setting dot file I need to add the name app news all right I go to setting dot file and we go to URLs dot file I copy this line of code that is available to me here instead of name I write news that's it it has been made in my site now I go to the app and then first thing that I need to do is the model indeed uh, to define its model it is the model for my main well I copy it and set it here and then do a little bit of editing on it for our news we need a name for instance uh, a name that consists of 50 characters these are also extra we remove these as well and then one we need a short txt for the news summary or for the news brief uh, to summary summarize the news that we would set here all right it would be the name we said a summary news a name and a summary news well and then we are going to add one let's say okay uh, we add a body of text uh, for the main text of the news so that by clicking on the picture or on the summary it will be directed to it now we have set a name one we want to add a news summary a field all right let's see a date field to show the date of the news what would it be and we set the characters as 12 and let's see one more field would be needed here why did I set the date as 12 because date never exceeds 12 characters for the image I add a field what do we do all right uh, let's see we can upload the files in two different ways one is uh, we would save all the image files in our database which is not a convenient method 
The other method、uh, is to upload the, the image to upload it on a folder like media that we explained before.、Uh, we'll set it there, and here we save the link. For instance, in the pick field, I will save the link where my file has been saved. To do so. What I need to do is I just need to import the pickup field, and my image would be there, and I will be able to use it. Okay, let's see.、Uh, right here. Well, yeah. To know who the writer has been, I think it's. It is complete now. If we needed a fill, we are going to add it. We have a news box, the main text, the date, the image, the writer. What else could we possibly need? It's a thorough website by its by the way it is. If it was needed, we can add the fills to our project. And now, I sh say show based on name. That's my model. I just need to change the name. I set the name. I'll、uh, write the name with capital N News. All right. Having made the model, now what do we need to do? Let's see. After model, we need to go for the view. Well, again, I get the view. Well, I copy the codes here, and let's see. Instead of main. What should I import? I need to import the news. Well, and then in my view, which is a function or a folder, I don't set any function. I don't have any functions yet. All right, I want to use the main admin, and that's why we don't need view that much yet. After that, I need to make the URLs dot. py file, well,、uh, urls dot file, and after that I make a copy from this one. I set it here, and just for now, I guess I set the urls pattern empty, and then I need to use my admin to see its register registrations in the admin. I replace it by copying from main app. And then write his name, news and news, and I save it. Now my settings are ready. I made the model, view, and URL, and in admin.py I register the app, and now I can make the database for my app, Python manage dot Python manage dot py or py make migrations. All right, manage dot py manage、uh, Python manage dot py migrate. All right, now it has made my app and database, and it is ready to use.